Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, says Poppy. From our stage manager, Poppy. Um, we were hoping to start the new year with no technical problems, and, and so we, far, we're doing great. It's stellar. Stellar. So, and if you like dog butt, well, this show is for you. Sorry, Poppy. <laughs> <coughs> um, I'm Eric Morton. I'm Jill Diffendahl. And this is Boxed In, where we yeah. unbox Disney merchandise, mystery pins, wishables, formerly wishables. Uh, Poppy, that's a bad angle. The toys formerly known as It's not as your wishables. good side. Uh, it is our first episode of 2023. Or 2023, depending on your preference. This is our stage manager, Poppy. This is our third year of Boxed In, Eric. 2023 is our third year. We started in 2021. That's crazy. I know, right? I feel like it was only... Pop, that's, the show is older than Poppy. The, the show is a lot older Poppy's, than Poppy. Poppy's, what, a year and eight yeah, months? She, she's not quite two She years. turns two, like, next month or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, we definitely... We'll have a birthday party for Poppy when... <gasps> When that happens, I guess. Here you want. Oh, maybe we can unbox her some birthday presents on Box In. I think that would be delightful. So uh, mm. it's our first show back. Um, we had Christmas, we had New Year's, we had all kinds of excitement and drama and flight cancellations and unexpected 18 hour drives. And To be fair, to be on fair, our last episode of Boxed In, <laughs> I was here. Yes. <coughs> you were and here. I was here. Hillary was here. Hillary was here. Uh, Jake was not here, but he was here in spirit. Jake was here in spirit. Out of the four of us, only three of, only three of us had our flights canceled by Southwest. So that's not too bad. I didn't actually have a flight on Southwest to be canceled. Whereas I'm the three to stick of up you for them. did have flights on Southwest. So 100% of the people from this show who had flights on Southwest had flights canceled. Uh, that's okay because there's nothing more exhilarating than driving from Orlando to Kansas City Two days after Christmas. Uh, at literally, at like the drop of a hat. Yeah, it wasn't fun. And you know what was even less fun? Driving back by Driving yourself. back because I didn't have Hillary with me. Yeah. I didn't have a DJ yeah. or a backup driver. I just had to... But, but... I did stop at a hotel. Yep. Lee made me promise to stop. Yep. And it happened to be next to a liquor store in yep. Georgia. And as you know, if you watch this show... And I get an amazing text that night from Eric from the liquor store in Georgia... And he found this. Case upon case of uh, Henry McKenna 10-year single, single barrel bottled in bond. Which is one of my favorite bourbons ever and is so hard to find. I have never seen, uh, I saw, we saw bottles in Kentucky when we went to Kentucky for your birthday. Not last year, but the year before now. Um, that's the last time I've seen it in the wild. So I'm super excited that you found this. You brought some home for me. You brought some home for you. And we're going to break it out tonight on the show. So this is not to be confused. You'll see Henry McKenna in like big jugs for like yes. 20 bucks. No, not the same thing. That's this is not the 10-year bottled in bond. Same Obviously, bottle. bottled in bond means it's, it's 100 proof on the button. Yep. And I'm looking for, I need it, right? I've been, it's delicious. I've not had any bourbon in a while. I it's, remember they had a bottle of it at, <coughs> bless you, they had a bottle of it at Splitsville that mm -hmm. uh, I was drinking, and then we killed the bottle, and I think that was the end of it. I also killed a bottle of it at um, Polite Pig, where they had to, this is Polite Pig for you, uh, there was like, they poured me a, like a one-ounce serving, and they measure it, and then there was clearly not l enough left in the oh. bottle for another ounce. <gasps> Premature sound. And so uh, they, they measured how much was like the quarter ounce that was left in the bottle and charged me for a quarter of an ounce of bourbon. I thought you were going to say it was the polite pig. So it was like $15 for an ounce last year and now it's $32. Well, that year. too. Polite pig has jacked up their prices like five times in the Used last to be year. a great spot for bourbon. Still a great selection. Great selection. Terrible prices. Obscene prices. Obscene. Right. Here's that noise. You heard it before, but here we go. There it is. It's good stuff. We must go. That's the good stuff. We've got some glasses lined up. One for you, one for me, one for Jake, as always. Except last time when Jake was only here in spirit and we did not pour him bourbon in spirit. Spirit, the airline we wish we had flown. <laughs> That's All saying right. something. The cheers, that is saying something. <laughs> Just not Frontier. The last Frontier flight I took, I literally watched a cop drag a guy out of the terminal because he got mad because they um, wouldn't let him on without paying for his carry-on. The um, worst airline I've flown is Allegiant. This is fantastic. It's so good. It's so good. 
This is, if you have the chance to get the Henry McKenna 10 year bottled and bond, you do it. Turn off the show and Here's go do it. Story or watch in your car. Just don't cry. Uh, I think the last time I had this, I was in New York visiting my friends and um, went out. She has a relatively new boyfriend. It was the first time I had met him. And we went to my favorite bourbon bar in New York City is called the Whiskey Ward. Uh, it's down on Lower East Side. And it's like me if I were orphaned. Her, her boyfriend was like, I like whiskey and stuff. I'm not a big bourbon like aficionado, but like order me some bourbon and I'll try it. So I ordered him Blanton's first and he was like, this is okay. I don't love it, but it's okay. Blanton's mind you. Then I ordered Henry McKenna and he's like, oh my God, this is fantastic. This is definitely stronger than Blanton's too. But I think Blanton's is down in the like, like mid 90s. to high eighties of proof. Oh, is it? I, I thought think it was so. I got a bottle over there with the check, but, but this is a hundred on the button. So good. Um, before we get into opening things though, <coughs> we did have a giveaway. We did have a giveaway last week. I'm getting over a cough. Um, I'm not, not getting over a cough. That's actually not the problem. COVID. He tested. Uh, so we have the uh, Bob Chapek Master Ship Builder Ornament. And all we asked people to do was say a particular phrase in the chat uh, in the uh, comment section. Here you go. Give this it a was, like and subscribe. Give it a like and subscribe. Because who doesn't so, remember this guy? We have giveaways on almost every show. So get get ahead of the game now and like and subscribe. Like well, and subscribe well, now. Why not? It don't cost nothing. Go for it. Go for yeah. it. Um, and uh, Jake is going to tell us who our lucky winner is this week. Joe. Joe LaBelle. Oh, man. <laughs> if we had known, we could have given it to him last night at the show. He does. Joe was at news tonight last he night. He did. He was at news tonight. Yeah, congratulations, night. Joe. Joe, I'll see you at the next show. Yep. Probably. Thanks for being a big fan. Thank you. This is all yours, Joe. Appreciate it. All right. Now let's get down to business. Let's get down to opening some stuff. What do we want to start? Should we start? We should start with some pins. Let's start with this stuff here that's just kind of. Hang we have some out. things that don't fit neatly into the box of no. pins. So this is a Target exclusive. Ooh. Uh, Lee, did RJ. you? This came from Lee. No? Where'd this come from? I don't remember. Tom. It's from Tom. It's from Tom. It's from Tom. It was a, Thank you, Tom. It was a Christmas Eve... Christmas Eve gift. gift for you. Is a Target exclusive of the Are Hitchhiking you? Ghosts. Are you going to open them? Oh. Should we open them? Yeah, it can. is an unboxing show. It is an unboxing show. We can All right, I'm going to... Make sure the surface is clean so it's not to get any residual bourbon drops on the box of Funkos. They're so cute. I can't believe I forgot Tom gave me these. I love the shininess. Do you think they'll issue Phineas? a Hatbox Ghost one when they we get bobbles? Hatbox Ghost? He does not bobble. He's just a fun coat. They're, um, I just want to... They're not rubbery. They're like hard plastic. Dear Most Funko, you should make some Imagineer Funkos. Oh. Like, Ezra. how cool would it be to have, like... A Joe Rody Funko or a Mark they have, there's, there's Funko. There's a Bob Gurr one. They made a Bob Gurr one. There's a Bob Gurr one? Yeah. In a, in, a, in a bobsled on Matterhorn. Okay. But there's right. not, Bob is there anybody else? There goes Gus. It's not out yet. It's like concept art. I really want, I want like a Joe series Rody. of imagining, like, and you build it. So like it could be Joe Rody in Pandora, like riding a banshee. It could be Mark Davis, like on a Pirates of the Caribbean boat. I like that the packaging went the extra mile. What, the, what are those little what, stands for? Yeah, I guess they're little, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It seems that way. Oh, oh yeah, so like their feet don't go through. Their feet have little holes to yeah. like, uh, put the stands on. I don't know. I have a lot of like Gashapon figures that have little But the wallpaper's holes in their cool. I like that they the included the wallpaper in the packaging. So we have another Funko. This is a Parks exclusive Funko that just came out last week. Uh, we found these on New Year's Eve at Hollywood Studios. Uh, very exciting because they were like. Oh, that was probably very fun going out to Disney Parks on New Year's Eve and not preparing to drive back across the country. We had an amazing day. We, we may you. have we may have had a nice day. We may have had a very nice day. Uh, but so our intrepid reporters, WWNT intrepid reporters found these, I believe at Bayview Gifts at the Contemporary. And so we saw it pop up and we were like, oh, we need to like scope out the stores as we're going through the parks today and try to find those. And so we found them uh, where they have the vault collection stuff um, 
it's not it's attached to the dark room yeah yeah the, at the end of hollywood boulevard yeah. on the right yeah. before starbucks yep so whatever that store is called there. let us know in the chat <laughs> found it in there uh and it is a it's mickey mouse in a doom buggy from the haunted mansion i'll try to open this guy up without um straining the box there we go He is very cute, and he's kind of dressed as, um, as the, uh, the guy. At the, the caretaker. The caretaker, with his little lantern. He's got a little lantern in his hand. I'm glad he doesn't have, like, a really skinny, emaciated Pluto with and him. And a shovel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that would bother weird. Lee, yeah. But he is super cute. The, um, the... 50th Park uh, Funkos that they've released, there's a Mickey and the Castle, and there is Mickey and the Tower of Terror. Have been very nice. I had the Mickey Tower happy. of Terror. I think we even mm -hmm. opened it I'm, on here. I'm pretty sure we did. But they've uh, they've done a good job with the park. And these, uh, they're not too expensive. This was, I believe, $30. $29.99, I think, is the running price for these. Plus, you get pass holder discount, so that's always a lovely thing. I'm going to address something. Someone asked in the comments, like, where do you, why do you guys, how do you guys buy all this stuff? And it's just a combination of things. Some of this stuff we purchase ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, some of the stuff Tom purchases because he's a collector. Some of the stuff Jason purchases because Jason also is a collector. Some of the stuff that you'll see go to our prize wall. Maybe we bought it for site content. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes we'll buy some items for uh, content for the website. And then we will put it on the prize wall or something like that, or put it in a charity auction later in the year. So, oh, yeah, um, we definitely had some stuff that's been charity auction stuff. Oh, we have a super chat. Pretty cool. $10 resolution. Mine is the same it has been for years, and I haven't broken it yet. This year, I resolved not to go to jail. Wendy is not going to go to jail this year. That's a good idea, Wendy. That's probably a good that's idea. That's a good idea. As your husband puts a second star on his shoulder, congratulations to Stephen. <laughs> to the general, the good general. Uh, probably would be a bad look for him to go get you out of jail. Probably. So, um, but I think it's also an achievable. But I, I invite you to live on that edge. I appreciate when people set realistic New Year's resolutions. And I think that is one that you can achieve. So go for it, Wendy. Very nice. All right. So this is another item that we picked up on New Year's Eve. Disney 100. Because look how much bling that boy's got. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, all of the Disney 100 stuff is starting to show up in the parks. And he's just adorable. He's just a, a, a vinyl figure. His arms move. His head turns. He's got a tail sticking out of his coat. He's got... So the mini... We did, there's also a Minnie Mouse one, which we didn't buy. We're showing a lot of butts today. We didn't... That's, it's, her, it's Lee's, it's Lee's. I mean, we had Poppy Butt, we had Funko he's, Butt. He's going, this guy. This guy. He's ready to party, look at that. But uh, the mini is That's kind of cool. creepy looking. We didn't love the mini, so we didn't buy the mini. But we got the Mickey because he's very cool. And he's also only twelve ninety nine. I think. Oh, that is, that is I know. for Disney, I mean, in park. And then plus you get pass holder discount. So I think for basically like 10, like bucks? 10 bucks, this is a really nice little. That's a great like, souvenir for $10. It's a great, especially like a Disney 100th souvenir. And right now, a lot of what they have out is just, like, shirts and spirit jerseys, and there's a, a lounge fly, but there's not a ton of cool stuff yet. We do have a Christmas card I'm late opening. <gasps> oh! This we is from Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. We she got a is in um, Ashland, Ohio. I think that's near Cleveland. And uh, I don't want to damage this sticker, or but Cincinnati it's inevitable. Everything, well, the postmark is from Everything in Ohio Cleveland. is from either. No, there's Columbus. Ohio has a lot of... <laughs> Thoughtfulness is a blessing. Wow. Oh, she's watching. <gasps> oh, oh, that's amazing. So First she of sent all, us pictures. She won the Sam Eagle aw, wishable that, that we gave cute. away. And she took a picture of Sam Eagle on the USS Wisconsin How and sent it to us. That's fantastic. Cute. Let us know, Columbus, Cincinnati, or Cleveland, which one represents Ohio and the most? Virginia, 2022. I hope you guys, all the Boxed In crew, and the rest of the WWNT staff, too, have a great holiday season and a fantastic New Year's. P.S. A very palmous and great New Year to the best stage manager, Poppy. Oh, the best, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Very this palmous, is awesome. Poppy. She's I down love here that you sweet. sent us like pictures of Sam Eagle. That's amazing. At a, an aircraft carrier, like that. That just. 
It's a battleship, Joe. Battleship. <laughs> Sorry. Get it right. Now I feel bad. All right, what would you I, like to I, do next? I defer to the Marine. Uh, let's do some pins. So we have two sets of pins, mystery pins for you tonight. We have Muppet Christmas Carol, which we just got in recently, and then we also have Kite Tales. Yes, as in the disastrous daytime show at Animal Kingdom, Kite Tales mystery pins. I happen to know that Wendy Purdy, mm -hmm. that is one of her favorite shows. Kite Tales? Oh, uh, let, let the Kite Tales hit the floor there. Their whole family is into it. it. It's something. It's certainly something. For right. clarification, well, Ashland is halfway between Cleveland and Columbus. Oh. So in the middle. So the mail went through Cleveland. Much That's like right. Ohio. Yeah. In the middle. In the middle. In. You're in the middle of the middle. Hi. Okay. So kite tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are twelve pins in the set, and we have. No, Archbox, you were saying six? it was an interesting ship. We have 12 ship. pins. He was referring to the Marine. He, I, he was specifying that those were Navy ships, not they are, ships. they are Navy ships. I did happen to spend about a year and a half on Navy ships. I've been their, their customer and passenger before many times. Just, just like but not movie, on a battleship. Just like the movie, you thanked him for the ride. I thank him for the ride. Uh, and just so you know, my, my stepbrother is a retired Navy pilot, so... He spent plenty of time on carriers, zero day, F-18s don't fly off of battleships very often, so no battleship time for him, but plenty of time on the carriers. So right. there are 12 pins in the set, including one chaser, mystery chaser pin, and there are 12 boxes with two pins in each box. So we have 24 pins to open. We have a good chance. So that we, means you have a good chance to potentially win a duplicate pin. So I smell duplicate pins as a giveaway <laughs> at the end of this episode. Where are we going to start? What do we got? Am I supposed to be able to name these kites? I mean... Oh, well, that's... Uh, 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 clearly. Uh, I'm trying to blank. I want to say Shere Khan, but... It's not Shere Khan. No, it's, it's the, um, the panther. The jaguar. jaguar. The, whatever he is. The purple Panther guy. from... You know, Jungle Book. Jungle Book. That thing, that movie. Oh, if you wouldn't have... I just totally went blank on his name. Somebody all in the chat room. Bagheera? Bagheera. Bagheera. I have Zazu. Oh, he makes a nice kite. He does he make, make a nice kite. He makes a nice kite. They should make a show out of this pin set. <laughs> you know what? If there was a kite-based show, that would be pretty cool. All right. He we're gonna, super irritated. I'm going to do the, the pin layout. This is Pua? Yes, that's Pua. Pua? We're doing good. So far? No whammies. Three pins, no whammies. Oh, four pins, no whammies. It is, what elephant is he? Is, is he a Jungle Book elephant? I don't know what elephant that is. I am not it's sure what elephant. elephant this is. Audience, help us out. What elephant is this? Is he a Jungle Book elephant? Help the people on the he's Disney site Aladdin. figure out what the Disney I animal is. he's from Aladdin. Is oh, maybe. Like when the, when oh, wow. Turns into he's the chaser. Oh, nice. He's the oh. chaser. <laughs> I think. <laughs> When a boo turns into a monkey and a, or Maybe. Into an elephant in Aladdin. I know in Kite Tales, in the beginning of the oh. show, like, there are people with, not kites per se, because they're just on big sticks, like, walking through that have elephants and stuff on them. One says Hathi and one says Sarge. People are just guessing. Yeah, well, I have a stingray, I'm and I can't tell if it's Moana's grandma or if it's the guy from... Oh, I think, Nemo. I think it's the I think it's the Mr. Ray from. Oh, the ocean is banging. Yep, I think it's him. Oh, they all have little symbols on them. Yeah, that's Mr. Ray. Oh, that's the one I already opened. Moana's grandma wasn't that happy. No. <laughs> she was very happy. It just didn't. She just and wasn't she, showing it. Um, she, yeah, that that Ray had like all the sort of like Moana sort of symbols on it. Yeah, they they're all saying it's um, the dad. Elephant from Jungle Book. What is that? Colonel Hathi. That's Zazu. That's Zazu. Oh, we have our Zazu. first duplicate. Mm. So wait, now we have a tiger. Is this? Shere Khan. Is that Shere Khan? Might be Shere Khan. This, I think this, I feel pretty good about this being Shere Khan. These are stylized in a way that's not identical to their films. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So oh, yeah, that's kind of I mean, they're easy kites. To they're, with that. they're kites. Look down upon you attitude. 
So we've got a Shere Khan. He goes down on the bottom. I have a lot of like OCD about putting these in order. Oh, I love that song, the, the marching song that he does in Jungle Book. Well, here he is again. Oh, yeah. I have a Simba. Nice. I think yeah. he's kind of, I think it's Simba. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not Nala. <laughs> Color's a little light. I I don't know. Does that feel like? It, I think it's Nala. It, it kind of feels a little more like Nala. I think it's got little eyelashes. I yeah, think I think that might be Nala, which is interesting because there's no I Simba. I just unwrapped our yeah. third Zazu. Boo! <coughs> see what else we got here. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we got, we have a duplicate of the chaser, though. That's exciting. All right. Oh, and I just got another, what we think is Nala. So we got a duplicate of her. I got another Bagheera. You need to go slower. You're going to do better. <laughs> do better. Do better. <laughs> oh, and I got another Shere Khan. Uh-oh. We're, we're bumping up against a lot Speaking of Speaking of do better. Did you do better? I don't know. I'm just saying we should do better and not unwrap duplicates. Forget speed. We're, we're, we're bumping up on a lot of duplicates. Oh, Nala. Nala. We're bumping up on a lot of duplicates. Triplicates. Here. Now we are into triplicates, which is not a place you want to be. With this bourbon, fantastic. I would love a duplicate of this bourbon. <laughs> oh, wait, I have one at home. This might be a new one, maybe, maybe. It is Rafiki. Oh, follow Ooh. him. He knows the way. And he's he's all rainbowy. Oh, he's pretty. I like him. Oh he's pretty. He is pretty. I want this turtle. I don't know who. I got him. Really? Oh my god! I said it and it happened. I love it. I don't know if it's Crush. I, that's what I, I was don't just know. trying to look at on the box if it's Crush because you've got this whole like underside of him. You really can't see his face very well. It almost has to be crushed. Do they have it? Oh, other? yeah, you can, like, the top of his head is pretty crushy. Is he saying righteous? I got Rainbow Rafiki again, by the way. All right, who are we missing? We are missing Nemo. We are missing... Where are you, son? Miko. And whoever, I don't know who that is. What is that noise? Hmm. I don't know what that noise is. Where? Which one? The top left. That looks like some sort of orangutan? I don't know. Whatever it is, I got him. I don't know. It oh no, like it's um no, it's it's King Louis. It's King Louis. There's Oh, King I Louis. see. Yeah, you can see it now. Yeah, yeah. The thing up top is the kite and his face is kind of in the middle. Oh, there Rainbow he is. Rafiki. Oh, yeah. His it's face, a lot easier to see small. on the he's actual pin. That makes sense. Uh, he's one of the ones that crashed and burned, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're down to the end. Is this the last box? My last pen and your last two. All right. See what we got here. I'm what gonna try to gel it. We're missing. We still need Nemo. We have everything but Nemo. Okay, I definitely don't have Nemo. We have everything but Nemo, right? I think that's true. Uh, Miko. We also don't have Miko. I don't think I have either. So we need. Well, we have Miko. two pins left, and there are three that we're missing. That worries me. I feel good about this. I got Nemo! Nemo! I got Nemo! Where are you, son? <coughs> it looks like he has chicken pox. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I got the turtle. Apparently crush. Again. He looks terrified. Alright, last pin. It could... I, I'm concerned that it's Zazu. No, it's the chaser, which is not the worst thing to get a triplicate of, but nonetheless, we got no Miko, so we're we're missing. We're missing. Well, we have a lot of choices for a giveaway. Oh, we have a children. lot of choices for a giveaway. I like this. We're sitting here, like deciding to give away Jason's pins that he bought. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, 
Eric, we're going to introduce a, a segment right now. We I have think. a new segment on the show. Yeah. We don't even have a graphic for it yet. No, no. And we don't know when it's going to happen again. We know it will eventually happen again. It's <laughs> inevitable that it will happen again. But we're bringing it to you tonight for the first time ever. This is very exciting. This segment is I called will. Stuff Tom's Dad Bought at the Outlets. Because Tom's family's in town. They go to the outlets and... They gotta buy something. You can't walk away empty-handed. And and as you know, our dear friend Tom kind of likes to buy merchandise. Well, he's inherited that tendency from his father. And so uh, Tom's dad is in town, and as a result, we have some crazy stuff from the outlets to show you. It's weird. When you get something really big, they give you a bag that looks like it came out of a dump. <laughs> Right, these wow. bags are kind of like off color. Brand new bag. Is it? Is it a Disney? Is it even? He told me, it's a, it's a statue from Avatar, but with the spear, or with the bow. Yeah. Let's check this sucker. I love it. Oh my god, this bag is the worst. You could wear this as like a poncho in the rain. In particular, if you wanted to appear to be homeless. Somebody said it should be called Dad's bag. <laughs> oh boy. Shall we go down? Flipper? We're a flipper. It is Jake Soli riding a banshee. There you go. Keep those sides in, Jake. I would rather see Jake and Sully riding a banshee, <laughs> but that's, pers that's me personally. Alright. Mike and Sully riding a banshee would be amazing. Nice. See you okay. on So this is the face, and you've got the banshee. So you've got this very hefty. This sucker, like you could hit somebody over the head and probably kill them with this. It's really heavy. Great, Jill. You gave away <laughs> my plan. I'm actually just dropping hints for Tom's dad. It's actually really cool, and I don't like Avatar stuff at all. The the tips of the Banshee wings are see-through. They're like translucent. We're going to need to hold those up to the light and, and see how they... Yeah. And uh, fly. You can see them a little bit. Oh, we got Poppy in one oh, hand. She's going to take Poppy. Thank you. <coughs> so, but you can see... Here we go. You can, like, kind of see through the wings. It's really neat. Um, it's very pretty. It is pretty. Maybe if I turn it to you. Oh, the light, you can kind of see the light shining through it. There. Yep. It's, very it's like cool. stained glassy. It's very neat. Very neat. That's like a really cool little Ooh, sort of added uh, cool. plus on that very figure. Very on the other side. There's, there's a little a bit of styrofoam. There's a lot of detail going on there. Yeah. And I think the, the sticker on it said $79.99, which is probably before outlet discount. So... Okay. No, it was originally 140. Okay. It was basically half off at the outlet. Okay, it was 140, half off at the outlet. Very nice. And I like that it has this base. It's cool. So. It's okay, okay. It's some serious that. business. We have a super chat. Jason Minner, did Jason receive my email regarding the auction back in November? Jason. Jason did. says he did. I have to figure out. What right. He has to figure out what happened. I don't know exactly how this was. There we go. No, the other way. Mm -hmm. oh, they're so, saying yes. that big plastic bag could be Haymaker's luggage. <laughs> Haymaker's yeah. luggage. Totally. That should be the name of a drink, Haymaker's luggage. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. We normally aren't big reboxers on this show, but we have no choice with stuff this big. My kitchen. We did it. Can I handle that much? Yeah. All right. Also, That's really cool. Thank I'm, you, Mr. I'm Corliss. I'm extra careful about handling other people's uh, stuff. Miss, well, specifically Tom's dad's stuff. <laughs> if it's Tom's stuff, it's fine. But when it's Tom's dad's stuff, how much did nice. you say it was again? It was originally 150. Originally 140 at the outlets for 70.99. There you go. What else do we have from Tom's dad at the outlets? This guy. Of course, they're all like collectible figures and things, which is always fun to unbox. 
Speaking of collectible figures, if anybody out there was looking for the Figment 50th gold statue that sold out for a long time, they had, um, they had Tink, they had Woody, they had Simba. Simba, and they had Figment, and the Figment one was gone for the longest time. I have seen it pop up in some Art of Disney stores. They definitely had it at the one at Disney Springs last week, so if anybody was out there looking for it, it's back. All right, this is called Minions Figure. Oh, minions, it's um, the figures. minions from um, their uh, from uh, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I like this. Give me the knife. Oh, okay. So this was originally one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Well, I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh, at the outlet for sixty-two ninety-nine. So again, roughly just a oh, hair I over like half that. price. Yeah, I remember seeing this in the parks. It was in the Art of Disney. Because when you tell me I'm going to an Orlando theme park and I, I love Minions, <laughs> I'm thinking Universal. <laughs> That's fun. They're really cute. It's a very nice figure. Oh, it's heavy. I like their faces. They're both like mean but dumb, uh -huh. which makes it funny. I really enjoy Which makes that. it really familiar to a lot of people in my life. <laughs> I hope. Uh, Jill, they're asking if it's at any of the theme park stores. We don't know. This was at the outlets, so. No, or no, the no. figment? I think she's oh, so, figment. So that figment is exclusively at Art of Disney stores. So the Art of Disney stores are um, Epcot at American Adventure, which I'm pretty sure I saw him there too. Um, uh, at Disney Springs, down by the Rainforest Cafe, and then um, I forget the, what's the name of the one in Magic Kingdom that's in Fantasyland. Um, uh, Bonjour Gifts. Bonjour Gifts. Those Back are the there, across from Le Fou's brew yeah. place. So I would if you're, Guess Tavern. if you're looking, start there. I saw it at Springs, <clears throat> and I think also Epcot. So I would start there. That is really cool. I didn't expect to see that. Got another giant box. It's trading figure or collectible figure hour. Uh, this is another Avatar one. Spoiler alert. Here's the one with the bow. Pictured right on the side of the box. Natiri. Natiri. I'm glad that's there because I don't remember the names of any of the characters. I know because a friend of mine's daughter named their dog Natiri. After really? Avatar. After Avatar? The most committed Avatar fan in the world. At least it was just a dog and not a person. Mm -hmm. Name people whatever you want, I guess. Don't name me Natiri. I'd prefer not, thank you. This also is 150, 140 bucks down to 70.99. Yeah, let's got it. She's sealed. This has never been cracked. No, I'm scared. All right. Shall we? Yes, we shall. I've like been doing like surgery. with a nice big hefty base. This one is slightly less heavy than the other one. This is fragile. Like this might not kill you, it will just hurt a lot. This is fragile. Oh, she looks so delicate. Oh, with that bow? Oh my goodness. All right, let's get her on the base. I don't know if this goes with it or if this is just for storing. All your base. Remo remove before us. someone. <coughs> zig, zig, zig. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna. I don't want to push too hard. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of let her go like that. I don't want to push her. I, I, I would worry that we can't disconnect from the base. If yeah, be a little careful. Hard. Grab I the base first. I, yeah, I, I, know. I, I know how to do this. I, I do this for a living. She's very intense. Remove before assembly. That is like what you put her for, feet oh, in when she's like being to, in the box. Yeah. When she's in the box. What's in the box? So she's huge. She's like a foot tall. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a. 
She's pretty. It's a lot of nice detail. The I like the feathers and stuff in the necklace. That looks really nice. Very cool. Again. I am not what we call an Avatar fan, but this is really beautiful half art. Off at the outlet. This is also a little had a little gift to it. That braid. Yeah. It's not as very delicate. I honestly don't know. This is definitely one, if you buy it, you want to be very careful with. <laughs> Eric's standing I don't know what Eric's happens here. Trying. I don't know what's supposed to happen here. I don't know how to do it, but I'll do it. Or I'll set it somewhere safe until we can do it. Alright, we have one more figure. This is our, our last item in the... This is our last item in the Stuff Tom's Dad Bought at the Outlet segment of the show. Trigger and Nutsy. Oh, they're Trigger from, and Nutsy. Um, Robin, Hood. Hmm? Robin Hood. Robin Hood. It's standing on top of a turret. That's all yeah, the it's just, oh, and they got the crossbow and the axe and even a quiver of arrows on his back. That's oh, cool. he's great. Yeah. This is a great, I, I'm, I'm a fan of, I, I like the minion one. Uh, too. No price. Oh wait, is there a price? I saw a price on the back. The original price was 95. I don't see the markdown price. I'm sure it was reduced price at the outlet, but we don't have the outlet price tag on the box for you to share that. No. May. That's that. No. Where's that other little butt piece? Right there. Is that right here? Yeah. Yep, under his tail. And then not precise. I think it must be like this. I think so. And then yeah. this piece fits over. Yep. Sometimes reboxing is more of a challenge than unboxing. It's the life we chose, Joe. I mean, this is, this is our trial and tribulation. Reboxed is the name of the post show that we don't have. Oh my god, that would be fantastic. <coughs> Where we put everything back in the box. And or covered in little bits of styrofoam. That is another occupational hazard of this job. All right, but we know why you're really here. Yes. And that is for the 30th anniversary of Muppet Christmas Carol mystery pins. Ooh. Is that why you're here, Lee? Is that why Poppy's here? <laughs> so we'll no. start off with the, um, the open edition one. This, uh, it's limited release, not limited edition. So we don't actually know the, the edition size, but it's not super rare. Um, this one came out in the parks here in Walt Disney World. Uh, and that was what you can find everywhere for the Muppet Christmas Carol 30th anniversary. But then we also have a set of, we have six there's boxes. Nine pins total. Nine. I think there's nine. There are nine pins in the set. There is one pin, two pins per box. So we have 12 pins to, to open get nine. for you. To try to get nine. Uh, I, maybe I don't the feel spirit good about of, this. of Christmas past. I don't feel so good, Mr. We'll Stark. <laughs> My name is Tommy Tomato, and I don't feel so good. I think that was the old Saturday Night Live throwback. Was it? I think. All right, first pin, you ready? Let's do it. Gonzo and Fozzie. <gasps> Lovely. All right. Let's see what's next. Gonzo and Rizzo. Let's see. Miss Piggy. Oh, that was that was Rizzo. I'm sorry. I didn't. I thought it. Oh. I just saw the hat, and it Ayuga. looked like Fozzie from Fozzie. Oh, we got Ayuga. a super chat. Uh, Joe Ramirez. Thanks for having this great show. Ura, Mr. Eric from an old Corman Marine. Jill, it's okay not to know 
that the great floating device is an aircraft carrier or a battleship. It just Thank you very much. It was really big. It was really big. That's amazing. Thank you very much. I really found Fozzie though. Did you? Yeah. You made it. You you brought it. You brought yeah, it. Yeah, I life. manifested Fozzie after you misidentifying did. a far away. I thought Rizzo was a far away Fozzie instead of a normal size Rizzo. I have the Ghost of Christmas presents. Nice. He looks like somebody from the Never Ending Story. No, you know what he looks like. He looks like someone from the like. Um, Rudolph the Red, Near, Red Nose Reindeer, or one of those oh, Rankin Bass. Oh, the Rankin and Bass mm -hmm. stop motion ones. Oh, oh Stadler and Waldorf. Lovely. As Marley's. As Marley's. We're doing good so far. This was you guys last night on the show. Jill and <laughs> Eric. Yeah. A little bit. We can't, you idiot. <laughs> Sitting in the back of We're there. bolted to the seats. One day. I got uh, Beaker and Bunsen. Oh, wow. Beaker and Fozzie are my two favorites. Well, besides Bean. Bean's pretty good. Oh, I got them too. There Immediate is, duplicate. There is no Bean Bunny in the pin collection. So that's our first duplicate. All right, one is, one is not bad. We can live with one. We can afford one. We are still missing Kermit, Sam Eagle, and the Swedish Chef. Oh, I got a dupe of Waldorf and Stadler. That's okay, because I kind of want to keep that. Fozzie again. Uh-oh. I hope our luck hasn't But we're in bad shape now. I only have two pins left. You only have one pin left. I only have one. Uh-oh. What do we got? Oh, Sam Eagle! Very nice. Sam Eagle! All pins, but mostly singing. And my opening ends where it started with uh, Gonzo and Rizzo. All right, so we're still missing two pins. We're missing Kermit and the Swedish Chef. Let's see. We can at least get one of them here as the very last pin. Oh, it is. It's Kermit. Yay. It's Kermit. <coughs> and Robin. Poppy Robin. getting amped up. Yeah, and she's playing Chase. So we are only missing the Swedish Chef, which I feel like. Tiny ah. frog legs. Yeah. Maybe it's best that we do <coughs> the Swedish Chef for the tiny frog legs. All right. So first order of business, we need to identify a giveaway pin. We need to identify a giveaway pin. Uh, I think. I like the. How about the Rafiki? Rafiki. I like that one too. That one's cool. It's big. And it's rainbow colorful. Rafiki. I think he's really pretty. So we're gonna give away this rainbow Rafiki pin to one lucky viewer. To one lucky viewer. Uh, you need to, again, like this episode. You need to subscribe to our channel, WDWNT TV. And when the show ends, in the comments, not in the chat, but in the comments, you need to include our mystery phrase, our mystery word. Do you have a mystery word? Southwest Airlines. Let's do it. Southwest <laughs> Airlines. Put Southwest Airlines in your comments. And you will be entered into the drawing to win Jake's the <laughs> Kite Tails Rafiki pin. And we will announce the winner on our next episode. And real quick, just uh, while I was up in Kansas, my brother Andy was in the hospital. He's sick. Hi, um, Andy. He, he's out of the hospital. He's doing better. But uh, thoughts are with you, bud. I uh, hope to hear from you, see, see you soon and uh, get through this. All right. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, Happy everyone. 2023, and we'll see you uh, for lots more Boxed In this year. Festival next week. Oh, and we have Festival of the Arts stuff coming soon. Oh, Festival. Happy. Festival of the Arts starts next Friday, a week from today, so uh, we'll be seeing you. With Come for the bourbon, stay for the farts. Exactly. It's what we do. It's literally <laughs> like the the like subtitle of Boxed In. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you next week. Thanks Bye, for watching. Everybody. Bye. <laughs>